If you own multiple phones like I do, I originally was on a Fire Phone using this T-Mobile Nano SIM card here. And now I like to go back to my uh, Blue Vivo XL, which uses a micro SIM. Uh, I had purchased a T-Mobile 3-in-1 SIM card. Uh, and basically, I kept the, the micro SIM. And I put tape on here because I wanted to protect the, the what's it called, the metal film, the metal thing. Technically speaking, you can kind of pop it back in, but it might pop out. So one way I'm thinking I can reuse this is by gluing it. That's why I've actually taped this top part so I won't get glue on the metal contacts. I should use a better glue than, uh, what's it called, a glue stick. But I'm pretty lazy, and if this doesn't work too well, I'll end up uh, getting a, what's it called, end up, what do you call it, just a, I'll just end up uh, buying the bullet and spending $5, five dollars for a new SIM card. So I got it in. I'm going to let the glue dry now. And then... You probably don't even need glue, you just can pop it back in to the, the SIM card and it should fit. I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry out now. So it's been a few minutes now and now I'm going to take off the tape. There's some glue over here that I'm getting onto the metal contacts. But anyways, saved myself $5. And for those of you who say, why didn't you use a SIM card adapter? Well, if you use a SIM card adapter, there's a high chance of the SIM card adapter possibly breaking your SIM card reader. Whereas if you have something that's flat like this, it'll work much better. So, I'll give it a try now. I'll clean off the contact with the tissue paper. Moment of truth. Putting in the SIM card. Goes this way. Putting in my big battery. Turn on my phone. Let's see if this SIM card works. Actually, the real test is waiting a few hours to see if there's a invalid SIM or no SIM card error. But I can't really wait that long. Let's just see if we see T-Mobile at the very top. You can see I got signal bars at the top. Let me see if I can go into settings. to the mobile networks. Mm. 
searching networks right now. Hmm. Well, I recognize it was under Fast T Mobile. That's a good thing. Uh, won't tell me the network operator. But I can just check. Uh, let me turn off Wi Fi. And let's see if my data works. Okay. So it looks like my SIM card does work. You probably don't have any glue, but it's just a safety precaution that probably may may more may do more damage than good so for me it worked fine save myself five dollars didn't have to buy the sim starter kit on amazon but you could go ahead and uh go to t-mobile and buy it for a little more one last test is to see if I can pop out the SIM card pretty easily. Seems pretty easy to pop out. And let's see if I can pop it back in without breaking it. So as you can see, I can put it back in and pop it out just fine and it's still sticking.